Well, what's up, America? This is just old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I've uh, been riding the roads lately and I've uh, been noticing an uh, awful lot of dead skunks on the side of the road uh, along with other uh, roadkill. And it uh, seems to me like uh, more skunks are getting hit around over here where I'm at uh, than normal. And uh, it's kind of kind of got me thinking about roadkill in, in general. I was thinking, man, you know, first thing I thought was, you know, well, I hate to be the guy that, or the woman that hit that skunk with a car. I imagine if that skunk uh, squirted when they hit him, uh, oh, Lord, they'd have a stink in that car for the longest time. But anyhow, um, like I said, I'm thinking about roadkill in general. And uh, there's a lot of animals get killed out there on the road uh, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's a way we can solve this so we can cut down on the uh, killing of the animals. So Peter ought to like that. Uh, Peter's against, uh, against uh, people even hurting animals or eating them or anything and I don't like it if I come up with a solution about um, how to save some more animals. So I, I've got an idea. I'll give it to you a little later. So anyway, so uh, I'll think about that. Think about when uh, one time uh, I went out to Arizona, Payson, Arizona is where I went. And uh, I, uh, it's up in the mountains close to the Grand Canyon. And as I was riding up there, I was looking out at the desert. It, it was so pretty, it was all blooming, the flowers and everything. And then I got up there to Payson, Arizona, and uh, it's kind of like a uh, national forest up there. And uh, it's a little bit different. It ain't desert and everything. And that oh, it was kind of interesting. And so uh, um, a fellow that I was with, uh, I was interviewed for a job up there. He said, you want to ride up to the Grand Canyon? And I said, sure, I'd like to do that. And he said, well, uh, he said, before we do that, he said, uh, about uh, dusk, just before dark, he said, we'll take a little ride out here on the road through the forest. And I'll show you something I bet you ain't never seen. I said, okay. And so uh, we went out there, and there was a little old two-lane road, curving in this, that, and the other, and all alongside of it was trees and forests and like that. Well, by God, you know what? There was elk and deer uh, all over the place on the side of the road there. I mean, I'm not talking about a few of them. I'm talking about hundreds of them. They come out there at, at dusk and start um, grazing. And, uh, well, you know, of course, a car hits one every now and then, and you see a dead body on the side of the road there where there's a dead elk about killed, you know, a couple hours ago. And so what they do there is uh, they have a, a bunch of hunters that uh, will come out and volunteer their time, and they pick them dead uh, elk and deer up off the road, and they butcher them up, and then they give them to the homeless shelters so they have something to eat. See, that's a good idea right there. So uh, anyhow, uh, we went on up to Grand Canyon the next day and I saw the Grand Canyon and it ain't all that grand to me. But anyways, we saw it. And so I uh, just want to throw that little uh, nit bit in there. And uh, so anyway, uh, thinking about this uh, problem. And uh, one thing that's always irritated the hell out of me is when somebody runs over a turtle. I mean, I like turtles. I think they're pretty cool. And, uh, and uh, but they're slow. Uh, but you know, when you think about it, uh, with all the evolution a, a human mankind has, how in the hell can a human run over a turtle as slow as it is? Couldn't you miss it? I mean, good God, it's slower than hell. You could either drive over and it's low down on the ground so you ain't gonna hit it with the bottom of your car. It does seem to me like it should never be no turtles get run over, but they do. And that just irritates me. I just want to get that in there too. I mean, I've got a lot of th I've been a lot of thinking about these roadkill stuff. I think so. Okay. So uh, uh, what we ought to do is uh, get, get the state to go out there and uh, start scooping these things up off the side of the road and everything, and uh, get the volunteers. Uh, like I said, the hunters to come along there and uh, make it a law that they can have all the deer they want to or they could donate it uh, to the uh, homeless shelters or whoever needs it and uh, and get the uh, deer as soon as they get hit 
you know the police has got to go out there. If your deer hits your car, you know it's going to tear it up. So they go out there. I ought to go out there and butcher that deer and, and let them have it. I mean, you know, it's just the same thing as shooting at it. They don't have no laws against that. So uh, that's one thing you could do. And then uh, the last thing, and this is the one thing that would probably save more than anything else, is if, if we would just do like they do for humans. Now, humans don't get run over. They do sometimes, but they don't get run over as much. And uh, the reason they don't uh, get run over so much is because uh, uh, there's laws to protect them. So we want to pass the same kind of law and do the same thing for the animals that we're doing for humans. And that is that we'll pass a law that uh, we'll put install all along these highways here uh, little old crosswalks for the animals to go across and then they'll be safe and they can cross the road and you stop and let them go by. So that's my solution to it. Let's just start installing a bunch of crosswalks. Jim Bob's out.